Hello everyone, welcome to the Power BI course. Today we are going to learn about data profiling. So what is data profiling, uh, why it is important and how we can carry out this task in Power Query Editor. Okay, so uh, data profiling is a last step of cleaning and transforming your data and uh, it is important because uh, in this task you check your data quality. You understand your data statistically. You understand the distribution of the data and uh, you understand that your data is valid. Okay. Um, so let's go to the Power Query uh, editor. So I'm going to uh, get my data in Power BI desktop. My data is in Excel file. So I am going to get my data in Power Query Editor. Okay, so this is a salesperson performance data and transform data. And here I have my query open in Power Query Editor. Um, so you can imagine that I have only one file today for this video, but when you are creating a report, you will have maybe 10, 15 queries in your data model. And in that case, you need to uh, check each column of each table, um, statistically. So you are, um, you are comfortable with the data quality before you, uh, model your data. Okay menu i'm going to go to the view and there is a data preview section so i just i'm going to just select this column quality and you can see here we have this section now under each column which shows that uh, your data validity percentage error percentage and empty um you need to usually we we check the data and we want 100% valid data so for example in this case the first column has 99% valid data and there is only one uh, less than 1% is empty so it, you can see here that the two uh, cells it shows empty so if you wanted to go and check that what are those cells uh, then you can go ahead and usually if it's very small number then you can remove as well so remove empty okay so you can have that hundred um, percent valid um, column quality okay so we have all other columns are on hundred percent I'm now going to click on the column distribution from this data preview section. And you can see that we have here now a small distribution chart of this column. And it's showing me the distinct numbers and the unique number in the column. So, um, where you have the price and that kind of data in this case cost price and sales amount um it, it's fine but sometimes uh you have you know that i have 10 dis like it like in this column the name column i know that this data is belongs to the sales department and we have a 10 salesperson and so 10 distinct value i'm happy with that but for example, you might have something different numbers here. Then you need to go and check. So what is the difference between distinct and unique? So the distinct include duplicates and it um, includes null as well. Where unique doesn't include both duplicate or null. Distinct shows you... Uh, different values that number of so in this column it's saying that there is a 16 different values in this column is available and uh, unique is zero from that uh, unique means it only appear once in a column that number is unique like in this column there is a 23 different values in this column 
and out of the, that 23, there is a 6 unique value. So 6 values are appears only once in the column. So that is the difference between distinct and unique. And as I said that if there is a column like cost, price or sales amount, I don't mind. I just need to uh, quickly look at, otherwise I don't mind distinct and unique. But uh, where you know your data should have only distinct value, then you have to have that. So um, in this one, like for example, it shows that I, I have three distinct value where I'm saying that this is a sales department data and I'm actually expecting only one or maybe two if the manager name is there but there shouldn't be a three distinct values so I clearly I can see here we will check in a while but this kind of things you check okay now uh, from the data preview section again I'm going to select a column profile so column profile then you are going to see here um, the column statistics in a detail than than this uh, like you can see here um, count as well so 998 count so if you know that I should have this many rows in this table then you can check from there then there is error empty which already we gone through then there is a distinct unique we also gone through that then you can check the zeros as well in this column there is no zero right now um, if you have an idea about your data then you can understand your data by minimum and maximum so you can basically see the boundary of your data as well and average and the standard deviation so uh, that all help you uh, to understand your data quality and also you can see the dis value, distribu value distribution as well here again. Now um, let me check so this is uh, I'm I'm okay with this uh, price and sales amount uh, I don't have much concern on that uh, the, that is fine uh, I can yeah so this is a salesperson name and I can see here uh, that this person, this salesperson has uh, multiple entries in this column. So basically he sold more products. Not necessarily that he is the best salesperson by the total sales amount. However, he um, sold many items basically. So that way you can see your data. Um, and then I need to check here the title and um, yeah I was expecting only sales rep representative in this however so see here you have two types of sales representative and this is only maybe some entries one or two entries and so you need to uh, you need to correct that so it appears same as this um, uncheck this profile and I'm just going to select one value in this and I'm going to right click and replace value and what we wanted to do so I'm just going to copy this and so we don't want we want space in that and we have incorrect entry so it's going to remove from all, from all like it's going to remove from the column so it's going to make a correction from the column I'm going to click OK and I'm going to select again a column profile and now you can see that that is removed now now North American sales manager okay so there is a manager um, a managers entry as well here in this column 11 and that's why it's showing okay I'm okay with that um and then department yeah it's only sales department okay so guys this is all about data profiling in power query editor if you like the content of the video then please comment like share and subscribe my channel and thanks for watching